Question 1. If an officer is directing traffic at a working traffic light, drivers should B. Follow the directions given by the officer. Traffic signals are placed at intersections to keep traffic moving and to help prevent crashes. Drivers, pedestrians, and cyclists must obey these signals, except in instances when an officer is directing traffic. If you want to pass DMV test in first time, you can download our iOS app for free. App contains 120,000 plus permit test questions, 523 plus cheat sheet questions, 350 plus traffic road signs, official handbook and FAQ. Includes all 51 states test. Even 98.5% people pass their test first time after using our app. You can find link in the description. Download app for free from App Store which contains latest 2024 material licensed by official DMV team. Get 3 days free trial for a limited time. Let's get back to the video. Question 2. Highway markings. C. Provide information for drivers. Highway markings provide information for drivers. Markings help drivers correctly position their vehicles on roadways, inform drivers of safe passing zones, and warn drivers about upcoming conditions. Question 3. The effect that lack of sleep has on your safe driving ability is the same as A. The effect that alcohol has. Fatigue and being under the influence of alcohol have similar effects on your ability to drive safely. For example, being awake for 18 hours impairs your driving about as much as a blood alcohol level of 0.05%. Being awake for 24 hours in a row has the same effect on your driving as a blood alcohol level of 0.1%. Question 4. A person who drives much slower than the speed limit. D. May create a dangerous driving environment. Driving more slowly than the flow of traffic can be hazardous. If you are on a two-lane, two-way road and driving so slowly that traffic is backing up behind you, you are required to pull off the road and let the other vehicles pass. Only drive significantly under the speed limit when conditions require it. Question 5. To check your blind spot when changing lanes to the left, you should glance. C. Over your left shoulder. To check your blind spot, glance over your shoulder in the direction that you want to move. Question 6. A solid white line down the center of a two-lane road indicates. C. Lanes are moving in the same direction and drivers are not permitted to pass. White lines are used to separate traffic moving in the same direction. Solid lines indicate that drivers are not permitted to pass. Question 7. You must yield for emergency vehicles. B. When you see a flashing red or blue light or hear a siren. 
You must yield the right of way to any emergency vehicle that is using its siren or flashing lights. Question 8. What does a single dashed yellow line separating traffic mean? A. Drivers may pass if it is safe to do so. Yellow lines separate traffic moving in opposite directions. A single dashed yellow line in the center of a road indicates that vehicles traveling in both directions are permitted to pass. Drivers may only begin a pass if they will not interfere with any oncoming traffic. Question 9. When merging onto a freeway, it is usually best to D. Accelerate to the speed of freeway traffic. When entering a freeway, use the on-ramp to accelerate to the speed of freeway traffic so you can blend in smoothly and safely. Entering traffic must yield to traffic already on the freeway. Question 10. This sign means? A. Crossroad ahead. Warning signs prepare drivers for upcoming road conditions and hazards and are usually yellow with black markings. This sign alerts drivers to an upcoming intersection. Question 11. Low beam headlights are effective for vehicles driving at speeds of up to B. 25 miles per hour. Low beam headlamps are only effective when driving at speeds of up to 20 to 25 miles per hour. Avoid driving too fast for what you can see within your headlamps. Question 12. This road sign means? A. Keep right. This sign indicates that a divided highway begins ahead. The road splits into two one-way roadways separated by a median or divider. You must keep to the right. Question 13. What is the first thing you should adjust, if needed, when you get into a car to drive? D. Your seat. When preparing to drive, you should first adjust your seat to ensure that you are in a comfortable position and can see the road clearly. Adjust your mirrors and steering wheel to be effective when your seat is fully adjusted. Question 14. This is a space sign. C. Yield. This triangular sign is a yield sign. When you see this sign, you must slow down to check for traffic and yield the right of way to pedestrians and approaching cross traffic. Stop only if it is necessary to do so. Question 15. If you come to a roadway covered in water, you should. C. Turn around and find another way to go. If you come to a roadway that is flooded, turn around and find another way to go. Do not attempt to drive through the water. It is impossible to determine the depth or current of standing water and your vehicle could become submerged or swept away.
Question 16. When parking uphill next to a curb, set the parking brake and C. Turn your steering wheel away from the curb. When parking facing uphill on a street that has a curb, set your parking brake and turn your steering wheel away from the curb. This way, if your vehicle starts to roll, it will roll into the curb. Question 17. This sign means? A. No U-turn. Regulation signs regulate traffic speed and movement, displaying rules which drivers must obey. Wherever this regulation sign is posted, U-turns are not permitted. Question 18. When you see an emergency vehicle with flashing lights, you must. C. Pull to the right curb and stop. When you see an emergency vehicle using its lights or hear it using its siren, you must immediately pull over to the curb or side of the road and stop. Question 19. Traffic signals sometimes display arrows to control turns from specific lanes. A solid yellow arrow. B has the same meaning as a circular yellow traffic light. A solid yellow arrow has the same meaning as a yellow traffic light. When approaching a solid yellow arrow, you must reduce your speed and prepare for a red light. Question 20. Before passing another vehicle, you should signal. D. Early enough for others to know your plans. Before passing, you should signal early enough for other drivers to know your plans in advance. Question 21. This sign means? B. Divided highway ends. Warning signs are usually diamond-shaped with black markings on a yellow background. They alert drivers to upcoming hazards. This sign indicates that the divided highway is about to end. Question 22. When using a roundabout or rotary island, drivers should B. Yield to traffic already in the roundabout. A roundabout is a circular intersection that flows in a counterclockwise direction around a central island and usually does not include a traffic signal. Motorists must enter from the right, yielding to traffic already in the roundabout, and follow the circle to the right until the desired roadway is reached. Question 23. What should you do when an emergency vehicle is approaching while displaying flashing red or blue lights? C. Pull over to the side of the road and come to a complete stop. You must yield the right of way to all emergency vehicles using a siren, air horn and or flashing red, blue, or white lights. Where possible, you must pull over to the right edge of the road. If you are in an intersection, drive through the intersection before you pull over.
Question 24. A red and white triangular sign at an intersection means. D. Slow down and be prepared to stop if necessary. A triangular red and white yield sign means that you must decrease speed as you approach an intersection and yield the right of way to any vehicles or pedestrians in the intersection. You must be prepared to stop if conditions require it. Question 25. When two vehicles enter an intersection from different highways at the same time, which vehicle must yield the right of way? B. The vehicle on the left. At intersections that are controlled by signs or signals and at intersections that are uncontrolled, the driver on the left must yield the right of way to the driver on the right when two vehicles arrive to the intersection at the same time. Question 26. You are borrowing an unfamiliar vehicle from a friend. You should. D. Take a few minutes before driving to familiarize yourself with the operation and location of all the vehicle's equipment. When driving an unfamiliar vehicle, take a few minutes before driving to familiarize yourself with the location and operation of the turn signals, hazard warning signals, headlights and beam selector, windshield wipers and washers, brakes, gear selector, and horn. Any defects should be corrected before the vehicle is driven. Question 27. Drivers must yield to a pedestrian. A. Even if the pedestrian crosses the street carelessly. Drivers must always yield to pedestrians in the street, even if they are crossing against a red light or are otherwise being careless. Question 28. You may not cross a single broken white or yellow line. A. When doing so would interfere with traffic. You may cross a single broken line to pass or change lanes as long as you can do so safely and without interfering with traffic. Question 29. Drive below the posted speed limit when. A. Anything makes conditions less than perfect. When the road is wet or slippery, when you cannot see well, or when anything else makes conditions less than perfect, drive below the posted speed limit. Even if you are driving within the posted speed limit, you can still be ticketed for driving too fast for conditions. Question 30. At an intersection with a yield sign, you should D. Slow down and yield the right of way to other traffic. A yield sign means that you must slow down and yield the right of way to traffic in the intersection or roadway you are entering. Question 31. Highway markings. C. Provide information for drivers. Highway markings provide information for drivers. Markings help drivers correctly position their vehicles on roadways, inform drivers of safe passing zones, 
and warn drivers about upcoming conditions. Question 32. Motorcycles are entitled to B. The same full lane width as other motor vehicles. Lane usage for the motorcyclist is critical. Motorcycles are entitled to the same full lane width as all other vehicles. Question 33. While operating a motor vehicle, drivers are permitted to text. C. Under no circumstances. It is illegal in Florida to operate a motor vehicle while texting. In 2014, there were over 1,600 citations issued for texting and driving. Question 34. Drowsy drivers. B. Can drive so poorly that they may appear to be drunk. Drowsiness can make people drive so poorly that they appear to be drunk. Opening a window, turning on the radio, or drinking coffee is not enough to make a drowsy driver alert to roadway hazards. Question 35. This sign means? D. A school zone is ahead. Warning signs are used to warn drivers about upcoming hazardous conditions and are usually yellow with black markings. This sign tells drivers that they are approaching a school zone and that they should slow down and watch for children. Question 36. Which of the following does not happen after drinking? D. You calm down and can concentrate better. Alcohol reduces your reaction time, reduces your ability to see clearly, changes your judgment of speed and distances, reduces your ability to recover from the glare of headlights, and often reduces your inhibitions and makes you more likely to take risks. Question 37. This sign means? A. Roundabout ahead. This sign indicates that a roundabout is ahead. Enter a roundabout at a low speed and yield to existing traffic. Question 38. When entering a highway from an entrance ramp, you should generally D. Accelerate to the speed of traffic. Entrance ramps for highways often have acceleration lanes. When merging with traffic from an acceleration lane, you should put your signal on, look for an opening in traffic, accelerate up to the speed of traffic, and merge into an opening in traffic. Question 39. Before turning left, it is important to B. Yield to oncoming vehicles. When turning left at a traffic signal, you must yield the right of way to pedestrians and oncoming traffic. Question 40. This sign is used to warn drivers about
C. An upcoming curve in the road. This sign indicates that the road ahead curves to the right. Question 41. You are approaching a railroad crossing that has no visible gates or flashing lights, but has a standard crossbuck. You should D. All of the above. You must approach all railroad crossings with extreme caution and cross only when you know that no train is coming from either direction. If there is a flagger at a crossing, you must obey all of their instructions. Question 42. From the center lane, which maneuvers can you perform? A. You may make left turns. This sign indicates where a lane is reserved for the exclusive use of left-turning vehicles from either direction. Such a lane may not be used for passing or for through traffic. Question 43. A diamond-shaped sign. A. Warns of existing or possible hazards. Diamond-shaped signs warn drivers of existing or potential driving hazards. You will usually see these signs in yellow or orange. Question 44. When parking your vehicle downhill on a two-way street, A. Turn your wheels to the right. When you park on a downward-facing slope, turn your wheels sharply toward the side of the road. This way, if your vehicle starts to roll downhill, it will roll away from traffic. Question 45. If your car starts to skid, turn your steering wheel. B. In the direction you want the vehicle to go. If your vehicle goes into a skid, you should turn the steering wheel in the direction you want the vehicle to go. As soon as the vehicle begins to straighten out, turn the steering wheel back the other way. Question 46. When getting ready to change lanes, you should D. All of the above. Before changing lanes, check your side and rearview mirrors for traffic approaching you from behind. Just before you begin moving into the other lane, quickly glance over your shoulder and check for any vehicles that may be in your blind spot. Question 47. This road sign means? A. You are about to enter a one-way street from the wrong direction. If you drive past these signs, you are going the wrong way and are at risk of a head-on collision. You should cautiously turn around. Question 48. When changing lanes, you should D. Always check your blind spot. Other cars and motorcycles are often hidden in a vehicle's blind spot, so be sure to glance over your shoulder before you begin a lane change. Begin signaling 100 feet before changing lanes or turning in a residential area. 
Signal 5 seconds in advance when changing lanes on a freeway. Question 49. When driving on an interstate, C. Signal, check mirrors, and check blind spots before changing lanes. Signal, check your mirrors, and check your blind spot before changing lanes or passing on an interstate. Only stop on the shoulder of the interstate in the case of an emergency and change lanes as infrequently as possible. Cruise control should not be used in heavy traffic or under poor weather conditions. Question 50. If someone has consumed alcoholic drinks, what will help the person overcome the influence of those drinks? D. Only time. Only the passage of time will allow a person to overcome the influence of alcohol. If you want to pass DMV test in first time, you can download our iOS app for free. App contains 120,000 plus permit test questions, 523 plus cheat sheet questions, 350 plus traffic road signs, official handbook and FAQ. Includes all 51 states test. Even 98.5% people pass their test first time after using our app. You can find link in the description. Download app for free from App Store which contains latest 2024 material licensed by official DMV team. Get 3 days free trial for a limited time.